Hey, Ma! Meatloaf! We want it, now! I never know what she's doing back there. Oh, wait. Sorry, my mom doesn't live with me. What's up, guys? In this video, I'm gonna share with you what Warren Buffett and myself have in common. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button, but for now, boom! <laughs> What's up guys, it's Jay. Welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and comment down below with your thoughts on this video. I appreciate it. Also, do not forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit a thousand subscribers. So if you're new, comment, subscribe, and like the videos. Appreciate it. So, I know I said, hey, Warren Buffett, he and I have something in common. And I'm not going to lie. It's definitely not the billions of dollars that he has. All right. Now I don't even want to make this video anymore because I'm kind of pissed that I don't have, you know, 85, 90 billion dollars in my bank account. But yeah. So if most of you don't know, Warren Buffett prides himself on his American Express green card. He loves it, even when it was the crappy one, right? It was uh, one point per dollar, two points, whatever. I don't know what the hell the green card was back in the past because it was probably the crappiest card that ever existed in the history of the known universe. So since the inception of that card, it has been complete and I'm just going to say it straight up like, you know, $95 to get complete crap, right? So as most of you know, the green card just got released like a couple of days ago. I mean, obviously I was the very first review on the green card, right? Like once it dropped all the new categories, this is the very first green card review. So I mean, right? Or am I late? I'm probably late. So recently I applied for the Schwab investor card and the world of Hyatt card and I got approved for both, right? Which added a nice lump sum of credit limit to my personal credit score, which will be nice. I'm going to see a nice little boost in my credit, but you know, I was debating whether I should get it, whether I should not get it. And you know, I was hearing about the targeted offer that people were getting once they were searching for the uh, green card in incognito mode, which is a nice trick if you guys don't know. That's how I was able to get my 150,000 Hilton honors bonus. I went in incognito mode and I applied for the card, got 150,000 uh, sign up bonus for that card. Now I decided to do the same thing. And normally I like to look for my credit card uh, offers on my phone through incognito mode. But since this is how I applied for my Hilton surpass card, I believe, you know, it was already there. Um, so uh it didn't pop up i was getting the public offer of 30k for 2000 and spin and uh to me that wasn't enough to entice me to want to apply for the card so what i did was i got on this bad boy back here went in incognito mode in my chrome browser found the 45k offer for 2000 and spin and i got approved within 30 seconds so that was nice. Um, so the one thing that Warren Buffett and I have in common is that we both have the green card now, right? And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, don't you already have a green card? I'm a citizen, just letting you guys know. This will be my first green card ever, all right? Just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so uh, a lot of people don't like the card. Uh, I'm going to tell you different. You know, I actually like the card. I think it's better than the platinum and I think it's better than the gold card. And I'm going to get a lot of hate for it. And I'm OK with that because I really don't care what kind of hate I get. Uh, and this is, you know, I'm going to justify that right now. Right. For one, I don't give a shit about Centurion Lounge. Right. I don't fly that often. So there's no need for me to have the platinum card. Right. For two, uh, I don't want to deal with the $15 Uber credits that you get every single month. I don't care if they're automatically uploaded now into Uber and I can just use them, blah, 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 whatever. For three, I could care less about the airline credit now because that uh, little trick is not there anymore. So you can't buy gift cards to get your airline credit, right? So 
what's the point in having that right a lot of people want to get the platinum card just so they can try to stunt on people but they're really the ones getting stunted on i'm just saying like you got the platinum card 550 annual fee and you don't fly but once a year that's not enough to justify getting the platinum card i'm just saying when i get the platinum card i'm going to make sure i'm able to use it a significant amount over a given year over the course of the year uh in order to justify having that card i don't want to have it just to say i have it if you have it and you're paying 550 you don't fly that much then in my opinion you're stupid and then with the gold card 120 dollars dining credit right that's supposed to justify the 250 dollars annual fee along with the 100 dollars airline credit don't care about that Want to know why? Because that is literally the most tedious thing and the most annoying thing to have to keep up with. I have the gold card and I don't want it anymore, okay? Because you have to remember every single month you get $10 a month. Whoop the freaking do. And I was going to say a different word, but ugh, I don't want to, right? Because I don't want to get flagged or whatever by YouTube for bad words. But um, yeah, so that's you know i i'm not gonna get all of my 120 dollars dining credits that i'm supposed to get and i'm not gonna get all of my airline credits that i'm supposed to get right like because they make it too difficult to get it now people say oh it's got higher points earnings on uh flying and travel with the platinum card it's 5x oh you can get 4x at groceries you can get 4x on dining I do not care. That doesn't justify getting those cards. I'm just saying. If I can get 3x on that and uh, not have to pay a $250 annual fee or a $550 annual fee, I'm good. $150, I'm cool with. And you know what? I don't care if about the credits that they're giving you for the green card either. I don't need them. I'm okay with paying $150 a year for being able to earn three points per dollar on travel and worldwide restaurants and I'm okay with that. Most people probably not. Oh, uh, lounge buddy, um, clear, uh, $100 credit to away, whatever, shut up. I don't care right i'm just saying like honestly so the reason why i decided to get the green card is because i don't value the two the 250 dollar annual fee gold card anymore um i'm not getting value out of it to be honest uh i am using it for dining but to and it's mainly used for dining to be quite honest right i, I mainly use it when i go out and go out to eat right um and i'm completely fine with earning one point less and paying a hundred dollars less for an annual fee right there's no need for me to stack and get the amex trifecta and all that crap like i don't care because i literally have no use for the other two cards right now right so what i did was my annual fee hasn't hit yet for my gold card so i'm either going to ask for a retention offer ask them to waive my 250 dollars annual fee in order to keep it for one more year and then more than likely i wouldn't use it but i just don't want to get retaliated against from amex because i have seen videos where you know they take back uh you know people sign up bonuses and whatnot but um i decided to apply for the card i have five accounts with amex right and so um <clears throat> i just thought like hey i want to keep my points that i've earned with the amex gold so I know I could have easily gone for the Blue Business Plus, which is a no annual fee card, earns 2x membership rewards points on pretty much every day spend, which is fine. But I think that's a probably you want to pair those. You want to pair the, the green card with the BBP and, you know, and if, if you're someone who values Amex points. Or if you're someone who just wants to do business with American Express, you know, honestly, I think it might be a good first charge card um, to get and try it out. The travel category is very broad, which is like trains, tolls, ferries, uh, you know, cruises, all kinds of stuff. You know, third party travel, uh, travel websites like Expedia, Orbitz, Travelocity, things like that. You're going to get 3x. And with the platinum and the gold, you're only going to get those points earnings on travel if you book directly through Amex Travel. 
through their travel portal. So that's the only way you're gonna get it. So those two cards are so restricted and how you can use them. And this card gives you a little bit more freedom to actually use it as it is intended, which is to for travel and dining, obviously. I mean, it, it's overlapping, right? So I'm completely fine earning one point less uh, 3X on you know worldwide dining. And I just wanna keep my Amex points, to be honest. I just don't want them to, you know, once I close that gold card account to just get completely removed, right? So I'm completely okay. I do not value, like most people are, um, you know, saying, hey, you know, you can justify, you could probably justify because the sign up bonus is high if you're able to get the 45,000 point sign up offer, or if you value away luggage, or if you value clear, or if you value lounge buddy. Honestly, I don't know what the hell lounge buddy is. I don't care. I have the Hilton surpass card, which gives me, you know, 10 passes to priority pass lounges. So I'm okay with that. So I could use any one of those 10 passes on a given year just to get priority pass. I'm cool with that. I don't care about lounge buddy. Doesn't matter to me, right? And it's whatever. If it's there and you know, I decide I want to use it, then whoop de doo Luckily it's there, right? And um, clear may or may not do it. Not exactly sure. I know that you can um, get it a lot cheaper if you have a Sky Miles account with Delta, which I do. So I could possibly get it for like 15 to 20 bucks. Honestly, I think this is probably going to be the best card and it's against popular opinion, which is fine with me because I'm, you know, that's pretty much me like I don't want to follow uh, everyone else's lead you know everyone makes videos and they're pretty much you know giving their thoughts on oh would I apply for it probably not like oh, oh. well good for you you know uh, anyways so yeah I usually go against the grain and I'm okay with that it, this is definitely gonna come off as a controversial video especially the way I presented the entire video like it was just very blunt very straightforward and I talked a little bit of shit and uh, I might get a bunch of thumbs down, but hey, I might get a bunch of thumbs up too. So it's all good. That'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know what you think about the green card. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Will what will make you uh, apply for the card? And you know, what do you think about what I said about the platinum and the gold too? Drop your comments down below. Let me know because <laughs> I know I'm gonna get a lot of uh really bad thoughts on this video because of what i said so it's okay anyways drop comments down below uh don't forget to hit the bell notification down the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date from there i drop my next video be a good person be safe be smart and remember credit eh, is your life and i will see you guys in the next one peace